Madam Speaker, I rise today to support the objection. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd like to start by making two basic points. Number one, individual states who administer elections must ensure that they're conducted fairly, uniformly, and in accordance with the law. And number two, every American wants to be and deserves to be confident that our elections are secure and that all eligible legal votes are counted accurately and in a transparent manner. And I'll say this, in my district, in Lancaster and York counties, I think that occurred. I'm very proud of my county election officials who upheld the Pennsylvania Constitution and followed the letter of the law. But unfortunately, that sentiment is not shared across the Commonwealth. And today, my objection is not about voter fraud. It is grounded in unconstitutional measures taken by bureaucrats and partisan justices in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania that have unlawfully changed how this election was carried out. This potentially changed the outcome and certainly caused millions of our state's voters to question the election results. Other speakers have outlined this issue. In brief, the Pennsylvania State Legislature in 2019 passed the Bipartisan Election Law Reform Bill, and then the partisan Pennsylvania Supreme Court took it upon themselves to rewrite that law just seven weeks before the election. They unlawfully legislated from the bench and made substantive changes to the law, including allowing for unsecured drop boxes and ordering that ballots received after the election be counted, among other things. And the Pennsylvania Secretary of State took it even further. Her unilateral unconstitutional changes result in counties treating ballots differently so that some voters had the opportunity to change mail-in ballots to correct deficiencies while in other counties, their ballots simply were not counted. As members of Congress, we serve as a voice for our constituents. This is the one time I have a voice in this process, and I cannot simply look away when tens of thousands of my constituents have real and legitimate concerns about how this election was conducted in Pennsylvania. And in fact, I think adequate, inadequate response to those concerns by Pennsylvania's officials is one of the major problems. Simple measures like audits should be routine and random and supported by both parties, and I believe they are critical for restoring faith in elections, uh, in Pennsylvania's elections moving forward. The bottom line for my constituents is that Pennsylvania's officials at all levels failed to conduct a uniform and legal election, and for that reason, they inappropriately and unlawfully certified the state's electors. And with that, Madam Speaker, I'd like to yield the balance of my time to my colleague from Pennsylvania, Mr. Keller. I thank the gentleman from Pennsylvania. Madam Speaker, the violence that occurred in the Capitol today was shameful, unacceptable, and un-American. We are a nation of laws, not lawlessness, and we will never give in to the mob. Thank you, thank, to, thank you to the men and women of our Capitol Police and other law enforcement agencies who, are, who are heroically defended this building. The criminal behavior we witnessed today before us does not erase the facts before us. I'm objecting to the certification of Pennsylvania's electoral votes because Governor Tom Wolf, Secretary of State Kathy Bookvar, and the Pennsylvania Supreme Court violated the state legislature's clear constitutional authority to set election proceedings. Under the Pennsylvania Constitution, only the General Assembly has the power to set election law. Additionally, Article II of the U.S. Constitution explicitly grants state legislatures, not the governor acting alone and not the courts, the explicit power to determine the manner of appointing presidential electors. Pennsylvania's court unlawfully extended the deadline to receive absentee and mail-in ballots. Governor Wolf's administration dismissed signature, signature authentication procedures for absentee and mail-in ballots, allowed for the uneven administration of the election across counties, and unilaterally changed Pennsylvania's election code without the state legislature's consent. The Constitution is clear, and the facts are indisputable. This past weekend, each member of this body stood in this chamber and swore an oath to protect and defend our Constitution. I intend to fulfill my constitutional oath, which the people of Pennsylvania have entrusted in me. My objection is grounded in the Constitution and rule of law. If we allow the governor to violate constitutional rights of the General Assembly, what is stopping him from violating the constitutional rights 
of the 12.8 million Pennsylvanians our state legislators were elected to represent. Thank you, and I yield back.